everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are building a bathroom vanity with an epoxy top. I am in the middle of giving my outdated bathroom a makeover on an extremely tiny budget. And today it's time to upgrade my pedestal sink that is taking up too much room in this small bathroom without giving me any storage space. I'm also very excited about my new vanity top that I'll be finishing it up with an epoxy to give it a marble look. I hope doing all these DIY upgrades in my bathroom really inspires you to get started on your bathroom makeover. Like always, if you enjoy watching, make sure to give thumbs up to this video and share it with your friends. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. I purchased a cabinet online. After searching for weeks to find an old dresser or a cabinet to refurbish, I either couldn't find the right size or I just didn't like them. The cabinet had to be a maximum of 15 inches deep as my bathroom is very small. Whole idea of getting rid of my pedestal sink is that it was too big. First I started with epoxy coating the top part of the cabinet as it takes long time for epoxy to cure. This is the back side of the countertop. Here certain parts are not painted. Since this is not a solid wood, it's MDF, not really ideal in wet and humid areas. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this waterproofing protection spray over anywhere I see an unpainted surface. This is a piece of wood for backsplash, I found it in my most trusted a store that is my garage i have tons of stuff here waiting to be refurbished if you know me i'm all about refurbishing and not be wasteful i found a couple of pieces of wood that can be a backsplash and i decided on this one i used the frog tape in yellow for delicate surfaces to cover up the holes and the channels underneath the countertop so epoxy would not run into them and fill them up used painters cones to raise the board made sure the surface was level this is very crucial epoxy is very runny so you want surface to be level i painted the surface with kills primer once it was dry i created a well around the surface with my tape so i can get a thicker epoxy coat i got this epoxy set from hobby lobby and i had these box full of additives left over from a past project they're from stone coat countertops I painted a kitchen countertop using this and it turned out really nice. And I mixed the resin and hardener in 1 to 1 ratio into a bucket and mixed them well for about 5 minutes with my drill and paddle attachment. You really have to follow the instructions on the package really carefully because epoxy is a risky material. It's easy to mess up. As you can see, I separated some clear epoxy before I add my white dye. I don't really have a formula to be honest guys. I just used light neutral additives and some black dye and metallic powder to give some depth and texture. I was just being spontaneous, just wanted to create an organic natural looking marble texture. I made several different batches of colors using clear and white dyed epoxy and various colors of metallic powders. You can find the list of additives I used in this project in the description section below. It's all about layering, layering the colors. I also used few different spray paints and metallic powder mixed alcohol to create some selling effect on the marble. I used a dirty pour technique instead of pouring each different mixture separately. You pour them all in one bucket and you don't mix that color stay separately and you just pour that on the surface for more natural look. You can use a heat gun to pop bubbles. Mine didn't have any, probably because I sprayed alcohol into the bucket. I use my hands to help epoxy to move across the whole surface while being careful not to mix the mixture too much. Yellow tape needs to stay for about an hour till epoxy gets a little thicker so it won't run off the edges easily but still soft enough to cover the side. Backsplash was a little tricky as the epoxy tend to move towards the low point here. I had to constantly lift this end up and down to level the epoxy. About an hour and a half later I removed the tape carefully. Even though I was so careful to level the surface epoxy moved towards the back tiny bit of slope can cause that unfortunately i couldn't avoid it i tried to use all the extras dripping down from the back side to cover the sides and the front but it really wasn't enough 
this is the next morning as you can see right there the bumpy area i had to add some more new epoxy as the epoxy was pulling away from this side towards the back but that's not a big problem i can get rid of that with sanding and overall it looks gorgeous i think the top part came out perfect it's just these sides as you see i didn't do a great job on the sides here is the back part of the countertop i wish this was the front of it but unfortunately it's the back and here is the front not very impressive well it wasn't like that when i left it during the night when it was curing the epoxy pulled back but the second coat will kind of cover it and this is the side one side this is actually important side when you enter you see the space of the counter so i'm glad at least this side turned out nice. I sanded down the bumpy area using my orbital sander and also gave a light sand over the whole surface. It's actually safer to use a hand sander. Uh, to be honest, I just didn't have the patience for it. I went back in to pour my clear top coat. As you can see, top coat kind of covered but not really i still have uneven surface but i am going to have to live with this i can't do much about it while the epoxy is drying i spray painted all the unpainted surfaces of the cabinet parts before i put the cabinet together Finally, ready to install the vanity. Let's look at the floor first. Remember the area under the sink I removed? I painted it with Rust-Oleum Floor Epoxy Kit. I actually painted the whole bathroom. This bathroom floor painted already about 9 months ago. You can find the link to that video in the description below or right above here. I gave it a one more fresh coat and now looks better than ever. Time to drill some holes for plumbing. As well as on the countertop, which was kind of nerve-wracking, but nothing happened to the epoxy. I already had these vessel sink faucets, bought a bunch of them several years ago from a warehouse closing. I was glad to get to use them. There are still several more in my garage, by the way. Did I mention that I painted my walls a few weeks ago? That's why you see that unpainted tile area where the old existing sink was, so I couldn't paint that part. My backsplash will just cover it up, there won't be a problem. Let me show you how my bathroom looked like just a few weeks ago. And this is after I painted them. What a difference, isn't it? You can check out that video through the link right above here or at the end of it. I attached the countertop to the tile by using an adhesive caulk, but later on I'm going to have to put a couple of braces to secure it more safely. Also caulk this lip and this gap just to make it waterproof as much as possible. This is my vessel sink. I got it online. It's in egg shape, nice and deep. I put loads of silicone underneath just to make sure water doesn't seep through. And all I have to do is now connect the plumbing. Plumbing is all done, now let's test it. Everything was perfect, there was no leak. And the final touch was to install the doors and we have a new vanity. I love how it turned out. What do you think guys? And it also looks really good with my newly facelifted medicine cabinet. I am very much pleased how this bathroom is turning out. Look at this marble design. It really looks right here, especially it looks so realistic, isn't it? I really love it. I've got a couple more things left to do and then I will be done with the full makeover of this bathroom. Thank you for visiting and I will see you in the next video. Bye!